गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आज अपन डिस्कस करते हैं ई टी एस विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज टर्मिनल ऑक्सीडेशन ई टी एस वट इज द फुल फॉर्म इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम द अनदर नेम टर्मिनल ऑक्सीडेशन वाई इट इज कॉल्ड टर्मिनल ऑक्सीडेशन द रीजन बिहाइंड इट इज कॉल्ड टर्मिनल ऑक्सीडेशन बिकॉज द को एंजाइम एन ए डी is uh, its reduced form NADH2, FADH2, FMNS2, coenzyme Q. All these coenzymes which are reduced during the process of respiration are now converted in its oxidized form, which is NAD, FAD, FMN, and coenzyme Q. Okay, let's first discuss what is the NAD. निकोटिनामाइड एडेनाइन डाय न्यूक्लियोटाइड वॉट इज एफ एम एन फ्लैविन मोनो न्यूक्लियोटाइड वॉट इज एफ ए डी फ्लैविन एडेनोसाइन डाय न्यूक्लियोसाइटाइड सो को एंजाइम क्यू इट इज प्रेजेंट इन एफ वन पार्टिकल इट्स अनदर नेम इज यू बी क्विनोन ऑल दिज आर द को एंजाइम्स विच आर हेल्पफुल इन प्रोसेस ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन and एन ए डी एच टू एंड एफ ए डी एच टू दिस टू सब्सटेंसेज विच आर प्रोड्यूस ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन आर नाउ कन्वर्टेड इन इट्स ऑक्सीडाइज फॉर्म सो इट इज टर्मिनल ऑक्सीडेशन एन ए डी एच टू वेन रिलीज इट्स हाइड्रोजन it converts in its oxidized form and this hydrogen received by coenzyme fmn by receiving hydrogen it converts in fmns2 during this process it releases atp fmnh2 when release hydrogen it is received by coenzyme q which is present in f1 particle save the another route we can say another route because it is a coenzyme fad which converts in fadh2 when release the hydrogen the hydrogen received by coq the oxidized form of coq converts in its reduced form coq reduced form and it is also necessary to reduce form converts in oxidized form so when it converts in its oxidized form the hydrogen is released and this released hydrogen is now split in its ion electron and proton with the help of enzymes which are present in f1 particle the electrons which are received in this process is now transported in or we can say roll down in cytochrome system what is the term cytochrome in last tasks we studied about the cytochrome these are the electron carriers which are helpful in photosynthesis and respiration also in respiration which cytochromes are useful so cytochrome b cytochrome c1 cytochrome c cytochrome a and cytochrome a3 these are the known as electron transport system cytochrome b when receive this electron it provided to cytochrome c1 cytochrome c1 provided to cytochrome c during this atp molecule produced this electron now further received by l cytochrome a cyt from cytochrome a to it finally received by cytochrome a3 cytochrome a3 when receive this electron atp is again produced the final receiver of this electron is cytochrome a3 which provide this electron to nuisance oxygen it is nuisance oxygen that's why we uh, mention half o2 when re uh, this oxygen receive this electron it becomes in its negatively charged form this negatively charged form oxygen when reacts with protons it produce h2o water and
and this water is known as metabolic water why it is called metabolic water because this water is not received or this water is not absorbed by root it is produced during the process of metabolic metabolism of glucose if, if you remember this term we mentioned this term at the first point metabolic process so it is ets or electron transfer system terminal oxidation and already we discuss its significance in last task okay